Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today is a special day. It's kind of a few days after, but it's still a special day. Daniel's birthday. He's got some presents over here to open. So I'm gonna have him come around from the other side of the camera, come over here to the desk. So apparently there is a certain order that I need to open them. So Jimmy's gonna write what order? Okay. You didn't have to give me anything, but I appreciate it. Well, you need. I need. Okay, this is something you need. And four fire extinguishers? We only have one. We only have the one. Safety first. All right. Let's see. Be careful. Jim, I don't know because Jimmy always gets me gag gifts, so who who knows what it could be? This is like a puzzle or something. Right? Just Bring it up your second here. Shake it around. Something. Oh, the spray paint. It sounds like a spray can. All right, let's open this thing up. I'm a little nervous because I never know what he's gonna get. Here we go. Ooh, double-sided tape. We have, it looks. What is it? Okay. Voltage tester. Okay, that's what I thought it was. Voltage meter. Got some. Quick disconnect connectors, some power, power. Oh, I, I almost bought one of these because there were, it was an adapter piece so we could charge anything, it, all the different type of connectors through one. I almost bought this, so I'm, I'm glad I did. Oh, okay. So this is to make it plug, you can plug it up to a car. Awesome. That's what I was hearing. All right, we have a balance charging board and a bunch of different connectors. Are these Dean's connectors? Those are male and female Dean's connectors. Yep, Dean's connectors. So we'll I'll definitely put these to good use. I'll probably have to sure. use some of those, but. That's okay. All right, okay. so. I know what this is now. What is it? This. Uh, what do you think? It's like a create your own power supply in a way. Like the one I have. Like the one you have, yeah. 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 So this will this will be coming handy because I already know we're gonna need it. You know what it is Stay now. Stay tuned. You know what it is now. Okay. Yeah. So number just you can open it anyway. Number two. Hey, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so that way you don't miss any content we're throwing in your way. And 90% of everybody watching the videos on the channel are not subscribed to the channel. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm going to move the camera over. All right. Oh, yep. Yep. Jump it out. Which, honestly, you did not have to buy this. Well, I want to make sure I we have, have the right amperage. Because, I have a million. Because if you look, what is the amperage? 10 amp. 10 amp. 10,000 milliamp battery at a 1C rating is 10 amp. You're not going to be probably having one of those. Probably not. Probably not. So we might get close, maybe, but not not too not too bad. So for this video, we are going to DIY your own power supply with all the different connectors to match this Thunder T610. It's only a single charger, but we're gonna make it work. This is something uh, Jimmy had laying around that we've been using off and on for for whatever, for all the builds, all the batteries. So let's get started. I'm going to take direction from Jimmy. He's going to tell me how to make all this stuff. Follow along so that way you can see if you want to do one yourself. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to drill a couple holes in this. So go ahead and take the screws out and pull that box apart. Got trains and frogs tonight. Welcome to my world. Alright. Just gotta clean up the hole a little bit. Alright. We're good to go. Show them what you got. You got the plugs and the leads. Okay, now take that same drill bit and drill your hole into the side of here. 
Just one hole? Just one hole. There it is. Since you got your soldering iron hot, go ahead and tin your, put some solder on your, your tabs. There you go. All right. There you go. What you got? We got hot solder. soldered leads. And he's put, he tinned the, the tips so it's easier. Now, the next thing we do, you take this off. You'll want to measure where your box is going to sit and how much wire. And I would give a little bit like a service loop inside. We're going to go ahead and fit, outfit exactly where we want it and make it stay. So we're going to put some double side tape on it. Okay. All right. So now we're going to have. It's going to come up into that hole. And then we're going to have a little bit of a service loop. So, like maybe right there. Mm -hmm. And let me see the other end. Because you got a positive and a negative on this. And red and black. Ah, okay. We got lucky. Makes it's, it easy. Makes it easy. It's, I don't know if you see that. It's red and black inside. Hunt for your wire stripper. Let me go get it. Yeah, they're in. They're I'll in go get same, your wire stripper. They're in the same drawer. I'm in love with the stripper. I got it. That wire get on nice and hot. Don't breathe the fumes. No. See, wasn't that easier? Yep, that's good. All right, now go ahead and trim off half of that with your snipper. I'm in love with the snipper. All right. Now, since you already got that tin and that tin, it makes it easier with your soldering gun. Mm -hmm. And make sure you put the red on red and black on black. Well, what sucks is I'm actually left-handed. So okay, yeah. this this is uh, makes it a little more difficult. There you go. There you go. Just pull away from it. There. You got a good beat on that. Sweet. Sweet. All right, we got everything wired up. We're gonna go ahead and test it now. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug these in. Okay. Now we got our we got our power already plugged in under the bench. Yep. And you just plug it in to your power supply right. and your charger. Oh, oh, we got power. Come on. Yep. Sweet. If you want to try that yourself, you can slow the video down, stop it. It was very easy to do. And let us know if you make one of these. Put it down in the comments. Tell us what you think of this. I've made one for my stuff. I've probably used it for 10 years now. Works great. But I use a four bank charger with mine. Never had an issue. I could charge four batteries for my planes or whatever. Had Never had an issue. So tell us what you think down in the comments of this. And uh, maybe better suggestions or what up. But there's another piece to this we're going to put together now. So when you don't have 110 out in the field, you can use your, your truck. So Jimmy's already explained what we're going to do here. Super, super simple. So for this, we want it to go for 12 volt. So what we're gonna do is make it work with these banana plug connectors. So we gotta cut this end off because this is an extender. So this end will plug in like so. We'll cut this end off, cut this end off, solder these two together, do some shrink tubing, and then we'll be good to go. Some soldering, shrink tubing, that way you can use it when you're out in the field. Yep. So let's get started on this. Shouldn't take more than, you know, five, ten minutes. Let's get into it. We got it all, all done. Let's go try it out, make sure that it works. We have power. Now we can use it on the go. All right, now that we have the charger power supply done, all that done, we're gonna try to charge something now. That's a balance tap. Balance tap? What's a balance tap for? 
the balance. Like a balancing act. So we've got this battery here. Um, it's got a Dean's connector on it. And bounce tap, it's two cell. So plug that into the two cell port of your balance tap. So and to, to make sure that you're aware, I do know what a balance tap does. It makes sure that all your cells in your battery charge evenly. And even if you get a battery that's not correctly balanced, it'll do it for you. It may take a little bit longer, but it'll, it'll make sure that they're balanced, evenly charged throughout. With the charger. With the charger, yeah. Okay. okay. So this is a two cell. Yeah. So I'll plug that baby up. Now you use your octopus. Man, it's got all kinds of hands on it. Oh Lord. <laughs> oh. Alright, let's find that Dean's connector. Does it have a Dean's? Yeah, it's right there. there. Oh, it's got a cover on it. That explains. I'd keep that cover just in case. You never know. Okay, we got the Dean's connector plugged in. Plug that into and your... And then we got your output. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. Now we got... <laughs> we got a charger. We got a power supply. Mm -hmm. We have an octopus. <laughs> we have a battery and a balance tap. We're ready to go. <laughs> now we're going to turn it on. Okay. So since this is a LiPo battery, our charger set at nickel metal hydride, so we're going to go battery type. Just keep pushing it. LiPo. So now we hit the start button. So this is going to charge a two cell 7.4 volt at 2.5 amp. Uh, 2.5 amp. So our battery is a 2700 milliamp. I can actually charge this at a 1C rating at a 2.7 amp. So we will go enter and then we're going to hit the plus to bump it up to six to seven and we're going to hit the enter button again and we're going to hit the enter button one more time. We're going to hold it in doing a battery check. That's where the balance tap is checking. Now we're going to confirm. And there it goes. And there it goes. All right, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I want to thank Jimmy for the great birthday presents. It was not at all needed, but I do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the content and you want to see more videos like this, throw us some comments down below and tell us what you want to see and what types of videos you want to see. Please consider subscribing and hitting that like button and hit that bell so you don't miss any future content. So thanks for joining us today. And with that said, God bless you, God bless America. Be empowered out. All right, number. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. You got to open that one. That's actually in order for the table. I've got another gift in my car that I couldn't wrap. Table, this is a table? Or well, the other box. <laughs> so I messed up, I messed up. So, he's going to open up another present. Actually, we're going to do a DIY on this, and I'm going to help him put, I'm going to let him put it together, that guy right there. So, make sure you subscribe, because we do stuff like this all the time. Anyway, we're going to do a, a DIY on this. It's really easy. So, apparently, he has something else that goes with these that he didn't wrap. So, we have to go get it out of his car. All right, you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm going to I'm, I'm pop it. I'm going to be 50 I did, before we get in here. I didn't. Didn't wrap it. It's okay. Oh. What is that, D? It says exceed our... Oh. What is that? Okay. What is okay. that? Okay. I've heard about these. I haven't actually seen one, but I've, I've heard about these on like Banggood. Do they come on? Are they, do they sell on Banggood? I don't know. Because that seems like, ooh, that's cool. It's like a buggy. I don't know. Let's go check it out. You really shouldn't have. I appreciate it, but you shouldn't have. You got, you did way too much. Here's the other question. Did you buy you one? I, we got those over there. We got them 12 scouts. Did you buy you one of these? There's 12 scouts there. didn't you? Maybe. We'll save this for later. We'll do another video on the unboxing of this and the first run because I want to spend some time playing with this. So we're not going to do it on today's video. But I really appreciate 
the gift and the thought, and we're gonna we're gonna rip this. We're gonna have some fun with it. So let's put this away and let's finish up the other two. He went way beyond, way beyond. I'm gonna kill it. But I do appreciate it. Ooh, must be something to power that. 5,200 milliamp. All right, now open that one. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, it's another body and some tires with rims and a front guard. Um, but again, we're not gonna we're not gonna really get it out and mess with it because it goes with this, right? So those are street tires, kind of like what we did with the the gassers. Yeah. So we don't burn up the knobbies running on so, the blacktop. More to come on this.